Where did you guys meet then? We met there. My friend runs a Pilates studio. I mean, it was my 30th birthday and she lent me her studio to have a party. And Chris had asked me out a few times on Facebook previously. Oh, really? And, uh, and she kept turning rejected. me down. No. <laughs> yeah. um, because she didn't know what I stood I was. And um, <laughs> then on the night coming up to her 30th, she was um, concerned about the lack of numbers. <laughs> I didn't know many people. I'd only been there for a year. So I was like, yeah, come and bring all your friends. Anyway, he walked in around midnight and I was dancing with my dad. And we had a dance, and then you yeah, left. That's and right. I woke up the next morning, I said to my sister, God, I think I'm going to marry that guy. Wow. Oh, wow. Was it that? Really? Yeah. yeah. Just a... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your life in L.A. Is it all wow. glamorous? Pretty glamorous. It's, Is it? So it's, we, we mostly wear gowns and tuxes. <laughs> um, it's, it's actually not. We have, we have quite a domestic life. Our house is kind of the epicentre of our social life, which is nice. We have people over a lot. Sunday, maybe a dozen to 20 every Sunday. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I love that chaos. Oh, yeah, love it's it. great. Yeah, it's Loads really of kids running around. You know, so who's the cook are you used to? I am. Are you? Right. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Are you quite bossy? Do you push them out of the kitchen? I don't want anyone in the kitchen when I'm cooking. Yeah, I'm slightly um, scared now. Jamie, I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> um, my auntie brought me up. She was a cook. So, you know, she'd cook for lots of people every weekend. And I just, I saw her have it under control. I learned a lot from her. And I just kind of think, one person in the kitchen is yeah. there's an expression isn't there too yeah. many cooks dawn you've done some amazing work with documentaries Thanks. especially when it comes to body shape and oh. food it was a really nice thing to do kind of you know around the start of my career to say <laughs> to myself and to everyone watching you are who you are and this kind of uh, just this idea that you have to be thin to be successful and happy is just so ludicrous and, and you've had a, a not a massive tra transformation but <laughs> yes. gone from, Tell us about gone that. from sort don't of talk about the grey like that TV, TV, <laughs> TV geek in the, in, the, in the IT crowd and now to sort of chip flicks and uh, being a heartthrob and all sorts. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought that I would be doing romantic kind of roles necessarily and and I feel like because I did that one in Bridesmaids, people are like, oh, that's what he does now all the time. And Dawn loves the idea of anybody finding me even relatively attractive because it kind of vindicates her choice. Yeah, uh, it does. <laughs> Living in L.A., what things do you miss the most? Oh, I do miss whiskey. I do miss whiskey. Well, I mean, we're not bad. Do you miss whiskey? I miss Seems whiskey. to be around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We actually, for our wedding, we didn't have presents. We said for everybody to bring a bottle of something they think that we'd like. So we have like an amazing whiskey yeah, collection. Gee. This, my friend, is breadfruit. Oh. oh. This is absolutely typical of the island. Um, and uh, I've never ever cooked with it ever. What we're going to do now is the beignet, right? It's a fritter. So do you okay. remember those? Oh, yes. I'm just going to split it up. Look inside oh, it. Wow. So you can kind of treat it and cook it like a potato. I'm cutting it into wedges and boiling it for 20 minutes. I'm no expert at this, but Chef said boil it in the skin and then remove it. I'm just going to take the inner part of the breadfruit out, where those little seeds are, and then just cut out the skin. Our ready-made salsa gets mashed up with the breadfruit flesh. I love mashing. I actually need a new potato masher. I hear that you have a dog called Potato. Yes, we do have a dog called Potato, so we oh. stand in parks and scream about vegetables. There is nothing scarier in Los Angeles than an Irishman standing in the middle of the park shouting Potato. <laughs> <laughs>